The foremost role of human rights defenders is that to tell truth to power and also to raise the power of human rights entitlement. Human rights defenders are the lifeblood of the human rights movement. Human rights defenders who've been prepared to work, often at great personal risk, to challenge authoritarianism, repression, the status quo, to achieve human rights change. Without ISHR or without international service, I mean facilitating, in, in, in understanding how even the basic work of the universal human rights systems, we could never have been able even to, to understand and engage. All these things were the trainings given by the International Service for Human Rights, which made us to connect and to bring our voices from Africa to the wider human rights um, in discourse at an, an international level. ISHR has a number of ambitious projects for which we'll need your support over the next year. We'll be working in partnership with the Eastern Horn of Africa Human Rights Defenders Project and other leading regional and national level organisations to develop a model law on the protection of human rights defenders. And we're going to be working to translate the successes that we've had at the international level in relation to the uh, protection of women human rights defenders, most particularly through the General Assembly passage of a resolution on that issue, uh, into regional and national level strategies. It's crucial that the international human rights system be accessible to human rights defenders so that they can exercise their right to free expression, so that they can expose the human rights situation on the ground, uh, and so that they can um, ensure accountability for human rights abuses. Human rights defenders pay sometimes their own lives in order to protect and promote human rights. What are you going to pay to protect them? <laughs>